Yo guys, what's up? Sonic and Tails for Life here today, and we're here with another commentary on Pyro. Well, I won't call this a commentary. I call this similar to what I did with, well, Shaman. I call this the end of Pyro. This is where I do two to three parts of a commentary, owning them, and then declaring that this will be my last video on them. Now, I won't say completely last, because, I mean, it's only a matter of time before he says something stupid. But this will be my last video on, on him for a while. Like with Light Bright Shaman. Now, the two videos I'm about to do, he took down. Luckily for me, I downloaded them. And guess what, guys? There are so many openings in these arguments. So many openings. I mean, the, the thoughts of a, him calling someone a casual gamer. And Black Bond, I had this, with you, this discussion with you on Xbox Live. And you know what I said. But... We're gonna get to it. Let's get the commentary rolling. Here we go. I'm gonna show you guys how to own people. You couldn't own a slave. The first comment that was left on my page yesterday, I guess after one of the Natal videos I put out yesterday, they just say fanboy. They can't say shit else, they just say fanboy. The second one, the PS3 is terrible. You're just pissed because you're the N-word and you are on welfare and you can't afford Xbox Live. First of all, I paid for multiple games day one that were more than $50, which are $60 plus tax. Most of my used games, including the ones that are going to get here from Amazon by next week, if you add all of those together, they're way more than $50. Yeah, and if you also add all those together, you don't have a whole lot of games. I choose not to pay for my online gaming. And I don't want to. You guys are dumb. You're actually telling everybody that uh, makes your games it's alright to charge us extra money. Because we're dumb, we're retarded, and we're going to pay for shit. Wrong as usual. I pay for Xbox Live because I can pay for a quality experience. Considering that PSN's free, it doesn't have all the features. There's no party chat on PSN. There's no cross game chat. Uh, the online store isn't as vast as Xbox Live's online store. Admit it, it's far superior. Xbox Live is superior to PSN. Sorry. And I do mean pay for shit. Okay, second one. It's a shame the PS3 is shit. Otherwise. Your videos might actually have truth. Okay, none of my videos have truth. And I went over this. A lot of people say my videos are fucking false. That nothing in my videos actually are true. Well, the articles and the links are, but your opinion on those articles and links aren't true. Okay, guys. Whatever. And the last one. The PS3 has games. Psych. The PS3 has no games. And I have actually found out what our 360 fans say mean when they say this it means that we don't have halo on our system so it means we don't have games and if you look at the different genres that are put on a 360 exclusively their sales are so fucking low they've had multiple RPGs put on their system exclusively that have flopped even Final Fantasy 13 compared to the PS3 version in the United States has flopped on their system so yeah their system is a first person shooter so to them we have no games we have no games and what about the games you PS3 fanboys hype up like God of War 3 that game's barely passing 2 million units sold so really what are you talking about and that's the most hyped PS3 game out this year and I'm gonna go to the Nintendo Wii fans you guys need to get off of Mario, Metroid and Zelda that's all you guys say MMZ that's all you say well, let me ask you this. Can any of you guys name me one bad Mario game that's on home consoles? Hell, even portable consoles. Can you name me one bad Metroid game on home or portable consoles? Or one bad Zelda game on home or portable consoles? I don't think you will be able to because they're all still pretty good games. Just because the franchise is old doesn't mean the gameplay still is not good. I mean, let's look. Ocarina of Time, Twilight Princess. Hell, people are hyped up for Zelda Wii. I mean, come on. Get over yourself, Pyro. They've been out since the NES. You guys need to move on. If you think anybody that owns a PC, a gaming PC, or a PS3, or a 360 are going to take the Nintendo Wii owners seriously, you guys need to start talking with your wallets. 
Oh, for a second I thought I was doing a commentary on MLD. But on all seriousness, guys, let's look at the facts of PS3 owners, you don't buy your games. Let's see what game flopped that was a very good game on the PS3. One of my favorite games on the PS3, and that game is Valkyria Chronicles. That game is an amazing game, and if you own a PS3, you should pick it up. But um, how many PS3 owners bought that game? None. That's why the sequel's on the PSP, not the PS3. Since you guys just recently like to use sales that the Nintendo Wii is sold more than a PS3 because it's casual. It's no hardcore gamers on the Wii. Pyro, you aren't even a hardcore gamer. Who the fuck sells Demon Souls but buys White Knight Chronicles? Demon Souls is the most hardcore game this generation, you tard. If there were hardcore gamers on the Wii, why has the Wii sold 70 million? But Monster Hunter Tri has sold Roughly one million. Well, Pyro, considering that Demon Souls is not a very known franchise here in America, so that explains the sales of it. Hell, the PS2 versions and the PSP versions barely reached a million alone. Most of the sales of Monster Hunter come from Japan, the country you love so much. But since the PS3 is such a hardcore mature gaming system, it sold 35.2 million units. How come Demon Souls hasn't even reached a million units, but the PS3 is a hardcore mature system? Million. How do you explain that? How? There's multiple, multiple hardcore games on your system that has not sold uh, um, anywhere near the Wii's console selling. So, 70 million, your highest mature game, I don't know, it's probably under 10 million. And that's a shame. Well, one, no PS3 exclusive has even reached over 10 million. None of them have even reached 9 million yet. And thir almost 36 million units sold in Uncharted 2 still yet to reach 5 million units. So what's your point, Pyro? So basically, before you guys want to talk about something, get Mario, Metroid, and Zelda out of your fucking mouth. We know they're the mascot of Nintendo products. Get them out of your mouth and hop on some fucking mature games that are actually put on the Nintendo Wii. Because in a couple of years, developers are going to start abandoning that as any type of, uh, having any type of maturity in that fucking console. Like they have already done. If you go look at them, developers do not put Red Dead Redemption on your fucking console. They don't put Battlefield Bad Company 2 on your fucking console. They don't do shit like that. Yes, because in this tedious little fanboy war, multi-plats are what matter, not exclusives. Okay, man, I'm done. Oh, but I'm only getting started. I got one more video on you, and then I gotta handle your little butt buddies. And they're talking about Activision is talking about a new GoldenEye game that is only gonna be on the Wii and the DS. Um, I wanna know how you guys think uh, this is gonna do. I honestly don't think it's gonna be that hot. It, I mean, thinking about the Wii's hardware and of course the DS's hardware, which is utter shit compared to the PSP. You mean the same way the games on the PSP are utter shit compared to the DS games? Um, I don't think it's gonna sell as well. We saw a hardcore game like Monster Hunter Try and how that sold, and I doubtfully doubt, I doubtfully doubt that Golden Eye is gonna sell. Yep. You mean the way how most PS3 exclusives don't even touch 360's exclusives in terms of sales? Sorry, I'm just putting it out there. Now, uh, speaking of the PSP and these dumbasses, Latendo 305 something, you know, you know that dumbass that's making these videos. He says, uh, Sony has no third party games, but, uh, Valkyrie Chronicles. What? English, motherfucker, do you speak? Valkyrie Chronicles is made by Sega and it's exclusive to the PS3. Then he said something about the PSP is garbage or some shit like this. Guys, listen to me. Listen to my voice. I cannot even keep track of how many weeks the PSP is on top of the sales. Allow me to drill this into your head one more time. Sales don't determine the quality of something. They just determine the popularity of something. Because if sales determine the quality, that means the Wii and the DS are the best worldwide because they're on top of everything. Now let me rant for a little bit. All I want to say is everything I said bad about the PS3 and the PSP, I don't mean. I like my PS3 and I like my PS3. I don't game on, on them as much as I do my DS, my Wii or 360, but that's because there aren't any games out that interest me in the moment.
Now, I do think the PSP does not have a lot of great games. I mean, the best game that came out for the PSP is just recently, and that's Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker, and I'm not a big fan of the series, so that's not going to make me game more on my PSP. Now, when Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep comes out, then I'll be definitely gaming on my PSP a lot, because I love the Kingdom Hearts series. But for every ignorant fanboy to say that, oh, sales don't mean this, but they mean this when you're winning, you're retarded. Sales don't determine the quality of something. They just determine how popular something is at the time. Well, that's all I got to say. See you guys later. Psychotales for Life, out.